Alright, we're up in the air. And it's uh, 620. Uh, winds are about 5 with gusts till about 9 to 10. And I'm out here with David. And we're going to head over to a spot that David wants to go to. He's got some friends out here that he wants to go visit. So we're going to head that way. So we haven't flown in a long time. It's uh, been quite a while. Uh, or at least seems like it. We're about 250 feet, doing about 24 miles an hour, going into the wind, and uh, we're going to fly for probably about an hour, and we'd probably come back down and then uh, take a, another short flight. Sunset around 8.15, I think. I'll have to check, but... Right now we're good to go. It's uh, real early still, so. Doing about 16, 17 miles an hour, so we're going right into the wind. And we're climbing, we're about 700 feet now. And we're gonna go over this tree area. So we're gonna get some height. Try to pick out some areas here where we can fly over and land as well. Uh, 5,300 RPMs. The high end is 6,150. It's like a campground down there. A nice little area. We're at uh, 1,150 feet. plenty of places to land in case anything, uh, if the motor went out, but we're just going to, David's head to the left, he's going right over, I'm going to go a little bit around, I'll catch him. About uh, 1170, six miles away, about 19 miles an hour. When we turn around and head back, we'll definitely be uh, head back pretty quick. David down there, right uh, about where my left shoe is. He's right above the shoe there. about 8.6 miles away, and we're doing about 29 miles an hour. I'm just sort of skirting this uh, trees and heading back that way. Got to head to the right, but uh, I'll slowly get there. Yeah, we're about 4.7 miles away, we're doing about 47 miles an hour. Trims are all out. We're in reflex mode. It's really smooth. We're heading right towards the runway. Going about 47, about 2.3 miles away. Okay, we're still in full reflex, trims all the way out. Uh, been flying for about 49 minutes. We're about a mile and a half from the runway. It's right ahead of us here. Uh, about 1,100 feet, about 46 miles an hour. David's right to the right side of me here, right with my right foot, just to the right of it. A little bit low. I don't know if you can see him on the camera, but uh, he's probably about 400 feet. We're about 1,073. Here in a minute, we're going to 
pull the trims all the way in and get ready to land. It's about 7 o'clock, so we can time for one more flight. Things pretty smooth out here. Okay, go ahead and head on in. When you have your trims all the way out, uh, you can definitely uh, you fall pretty quick. You are dropping, dropping, dropping. So we're still doing about 46 miles an hour. And David to right in front of us. About 700 feet. Pull them in equally. And we'll come in all the way till about three. And then we can grab ahead hold of the brakes now because we're safe to do so. Flag down there is just laying nice and flat. David can fly for about an hour, so he's he's definitely got an hour on it. I've got 51. He took off just before me, so he should be ready to go on in. And the sun is out. He's lower than I am, so he'll be the first one to land. That is the right thing to do. Well, I'm not sure if he's going to land or not, but he thought he was. But if he's not going to go, I'll just go ahead and go on in. It is definitely smooth. Not feeling a cold change or anything. Normally you get down this low and you'll start feeling a change of inversion or whatever uh, with the temperature here, but uh, so far it's about the same.
Kill the engine and drop it. Hopefully I didn't mess him up.